Hello, Bloodhound here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. So here we are as China, and so we're going to focus on annexing Yarn here, because basically we need guns. So badly need guns. So hopefully they have some guns here that we can annex, and uh, yeah, so we basically I restructured all my production tasks, so they're all on that, and they're just gonna pump out that and hopefully bring it down down that extra bit. Now, we are going to stop pretty much all offensives here. We're going to grab the these We're going to put that on the northern front here, the forest. And we are actually going to use them. We are, I lied. I, I lied about having stopping the offensives. We're going to push up to here. And hopefully before that seals up, we'll drag all those across. And here we can go. Just wait for everyone to get into position up there. Just gonna do a little, just a slight. We want to knock back. The Finnish Democratic Republic. Which are they giving us? Did we get that? Did we actually get that? Yes! Guns! 17k of other stuff, but a lot of that is guns. And artillery, oh yes, support equipment, beautiful, use it, we need it. I see, so you guys are trying to break through here. Send down that army and they can hold there. Our divisions from the other army will go back north. Uh, you halt. You mountain guys, you also halt. You're just... just dying. It's fine. Delhi is pretty heavily defended. What are you, unassigned? It's damn Korean divisions. How much weapons do you have, Korea, that you can afford to just build armies like this? So good. I'm happy that we're not just out of guns as much anymore. How are we going on this construction front? Got 97 factories. Push and take. They landed armor here. 
need to push that back. That's it. Come on. Break that last one and we've got this. Killing those tank divisions and infantry will be very good for us. You're ready to go. Move forward. Don't need that. We got aircraft everywhere. Bombing us all over the front here. We need to set up more planes. We will deploy probably 300 per Place, so 300, 300, 300, 300, so that's, I'm bad at math, 1200. That puts us over what we've got in storage though, don't we? Basically all of it. So we take some from Asia. Like, our fighting is... non-stop so we're gonna say how are we going with that are we actually depleting their fighters at all not really so yeah like we're gonna keep them doing that but we're gonna take say this many back over here Two, three, one to that front. One, two, three, to that front. One, two, to that one. There, and turn you guys off that, onto that. And that. Hunt bombers. We'll start with that. Deploying We got a couple of the old planes. But they're not just wait. You go there. You guys are on standby for here. Yeah. Good in the air. Hunt down their fighters and bombers. Good. All right. We're winning this air war completely. Using shitty old cast. Bombers there. Yep. All right. So just 300 aircraft in each region. Probably going to not work out the best, but... Good, you're moving forward, we're gaining that ground. Actually getting there, so we're gonna, where's that connection point? Here. There. that 
Mobility army is going to spread to there. Uh, you guys don't need to move at all. You guys have done enough. It's fine, it's fine. Alright, good. Next. So actually, you're gaining that, we're gaining guns. Gaining guns is good. What are you? Your mountains. That's hills. Hills is our best bet. You can break through them. Lacking supplies. Then we can link up here and seal off all of this, and that'll all die. Because that's just hills. Go there. We need to reinforce that army. They're running out of stuff. Amazing. Positive. Positive guns. I didn't think I'd ever live to see the day. Um, tanks. So, we should slowly switch out for moderns. Good. So, they're reinforcing in India. They still don't have enough troops on this whole line for us. Great news! Very good. So they ended the war for me, so now I get complete free rights to this. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Uh, yeah, so I'll take all this. This is mine now. All of this is mine. All de jour China, really. Yep. Just keep going with that. Now. That is ours. That is all just China. Now, see, I do wanted to make a Russian puppet state here. But, where do we want to draw that? Because I do need this oil, so I should take that. How does that look? That looks okay. But if we take that next little bit, that will give us some iron. Do you like iron? That state just ran along that river would be better. It just looks dumb. That looks okay, but... All of that sweet steel that we're gonna miss out on. Yeah, that'll do, and then this can be our Russian puppet state, Soviet Union puppet. Wait, am I taking these for me? Right, no. So, we're just going to puppet. Now 
now you expanding it for the Soviet Union, which you're not going to be a Soviet. Surely you're going to be a Russian Empire, right? Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, uh, because they've already released that. <sighs> Jerks. <sighs> Wanted to make... Oh well, whatever. We'll deal with them later. That's fine like that. This is all for the Soviet Union. Next is you. We got a puppet. Yes. Because you're just that. We're going to take this cool holiday destination. That's for us. Africa's now ours. Are we... No... We want that stuff. Probably don't need the Africa. We'll take that island. We'll take Canary Islands, actually. We'll set up probably some African puppet states. Which means we can't give it to them later. Don't have any claim. We'll just take this section of Africa. This half of Africa. Probably for the best. Because we're going to annex Iran and that. Because we need their oil. Maybe just take North Africa into this bit. Yep. But we'll, we'll annex this part of Africa. It's part of mine. I didn't take that island. And... So... Puppet. Don't have enough. What? Oh, we've only got 200, eh? Spanish demands. You demand the rest of your country. Alright, there we go. So we've set up a bunch of puppet states. Done? I think we're done here. Good, so we got a Russian Empire, Nation the Spain. So all of that should hopefully flip back, because they're not actually in my wars, right? You don't have a... Oh, you are at war? Dang. Oh, well. Okay, then... What are you? You're a tiny bit of land left. Get rid of all that. You're done. Alright, cool. Well, um... There we go. So that's the Qing part. That's the Russian part. 
Did we get a bunch more guns? A little bit more guns. And stuff like that, so that's good. Next, we shall have to set up this line. going to do is do a lightning war across here. Yeah, that'll do once those troops get into position there. Probably going to take our armor to India, I guess, is probably for the best. Ah! These guys can hold this front. That's what you guys can do with Greater Finland. Good, who's in charge of you? Good, good. Already in our faction. Good, so our uh, empire is growing. All of these sweet up things. Yes, expand the steel. Mines. Yes, yes, all of it. Expand it. No, oh, yep, it's just a normal. Just wish I could do this one. Alright, so now we're just focusing here on India. We're good with pop so they're nearly done. Guess we will move on now. Let's all those units get into position. Oh. Huh. Well, that's cool. So we can do that. That's pretty good. Going now, so we're still massively in deficit of steel. But, we will be able to take all of, basically all we need from the uh, Russian Empire here. Gun production is skyrocketing here. Our defenses are not... They're just outgunning us, just with the large numbers. Yep, they got a lot of fighters. So we need to put a lot more into fighter production to 
catch up. I'm gonna put it up to that many. I only need that much. Need fire production. Soviet fleet, there's some remnants of it left. It's good. They want to provide us with some artillery. Yeah, thanks for that, but we don't need your stuff. Fine. Good. Huh? What? Who is that line? Independent Korea. Well, we can lower the autonomy now. Annex. Sweet. Believe we got a bunch of guns. Um, either way, we don't need these anymore. These are the unassigned ones, right? Yes. So that's their armies. We already have enough armies. Like. take those because I need the actually that's a good point why don't we instead grab all those attach them to this army unit you guys can switch to that and you're my second one of these so good that's what we needed for that. We should be able to get a good, sizable amount of guns back. Yep. There we go. So Korea's on its way over, because I guess they got called into my... No, they didn't. they're not in any of my wars. They just want to come over and say hello. Good. Well, our guns have been restored. Now we can push. Looks like you... The guys are just going to have to hold there. Alright, so that's good. Hopefully Russia will start producing units again. Like, they still have a decent sized population, right? There's like 8 million men ready to go, ready to die for our nation. That's good. Naval invasions. Alright, that's right. That's what this army is going to be doing. Grab that. We don't need you to see on the coast. It's there. 
there. You can sit on their thing as well. Yep, that will do. Oh wait, no, we'll put it for up there as well. So it looks like you're going up here to protect that, that. Anywhere else it's got a port up here. No. Maybe fall back for now. We're gonna surrender Momensk. Is there anything actually up there? Yeah, 17 irons. Useful, but they've got enough, so I think we're alright on that front. So you are not that. You are the Ching Home Fence. Oh my god. Defense. Theater. This is the Western Front. You guys are actually on the Southern Front, so we'll need to make a new theater. Ching. There we go. Ching Southern Theatre. Good. Alright, so I guess that'll do. We'll stop here. We've made a lot of progress. We've established the big heartland of Ching. Some vassals on the, out in the periphery. And yeah, that's pretty much it. How these guys have surrendered. Russian Empire is closer, close-ish to surrender. Yeah, I think it looks good. We're doing well. Quite happy with that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.